Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how you can simulate Morbis serial device in your system. Okay, so if you are using any Windows operating system and if you want to simulate Morbis serial device or you can say Morbis RTU or Morbis RS485 device, then how you can simulate it. Okay, so that thing we are going to cover in this video. So for that, I'm going to use two software. The first software I'm going to use is the Morbis Slave software, okay, which will act as a Morbis simulator morbus simulated device okay it can be act as a morbus tcp simulator device as well and it can be act as a morbus serial device simulator as well we have to choose that what simulator we want to create using this morbus slave software and the second software we are going to use is the virtual serial port driver software okay so i'm going to cover that why we have to use this virtual serial port driver software later on right now you can see uh, it is connected I'm going to disconnect it and we want to create a Modbus serial simulator so I can open my Modbus slave software I can go to connection I can click on connect and instead of Modbus TCP IP communication I can choose serial port okay and uh, here I can choose COM1 and here is the another parameter of serial communication like baud rate data bit parity and the stop bit if I start my uh, device Okay, simulator device and you can see port one is not available. So if you are using Morbus Slave directly to create your Morbus serial simulator device, then it won't work. You have to use this virtual serial port driver software. So this software will, uh, you know, activate the COM ports in your system. So you can see uh, first port COM1 and the second port COM2. I'm going to add this pair into my system you can see com1 is connected to com2 internally using the software okay now i can go to connection here i can click on connect and i can uh, you know start my moodbus serial device on com1 and com1 is connected to com2 internally so i don't have to worry about it i can use uh, com1 for connection and i can press ok you can see it started and here also you can see the baud rate is 9600 data bits 8 parity none and the stop bit one so if i disconnect here okay then you can see there is no data available if i connect again then you can see there is a data available and if you expand then you can also see that which application is using this com1 port you can see mb slave is using this com port so now we have successfully started morbus serial device simulator on the com1 now if I want to read the data, okay, then I can use a mode scan software to read that data. So let me arrange these two things. Okay, here is my mode scan software and uh, I can go to connection. I can click on connect and here you can see we are going to connect with Modbus TCP server. No, we are going to connect with Modbus serial devices or you can say Modbus RTU or Modbus RS485 device. And here we have to specify on which COM port we are going to connect to. So here you can see we have already connected COM1 with the COM2. So COM1 is occupied by this Modbus slave software. So we can use COM2 to get the data of uh, COM1. So here I'm going to select COM2. 9600 baud rate okay data bits 8 parity none and the stop bit one i can press ok you can see modbus exception response from the slave device because we are reading the coil status and here you can see it is uh, uh, simulating the holding register so here i have to select holding register okay and here again you can see modbus exception response from the slave devices because here we have only 10 holding register okay from 0 to 9 we have only 10 holding register and here you can see we have uh, selected the length 100 so we have to make it 10 and here you can see we have the data if i do the auto increment for this holding register then you can see that auto increment values here in the more scan software as well okay so this is how you can simulate multiple serial devices in your system so if you want to uh, connect your SCADA system or if you want to test your SCADA system or any other software with multiple serial devices or if you are working on the python if you are working on the node and if your application is to read data from multiple serial devices then you can uh, set up your system like this you can use Modbus Slave software to simulate Modbus serial device. You can use virtual serial port driver software to uh, turn on the COM port, COM1 and 2, and you can internally connect this to COM port, okay? And you can use Modbus Slave to send the data on COM1, 
and on the other side any SCADA software or any node read python they can uh, read the data from com to port okay so this is how you can uh, set up your modbus serial or you can say modbus rtu or modbus rs485 device in your own windows operating system so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp i will provide a link to download virtual serial port driver software in the description also i'll provide the link to download modus slave and more scan software okay so uh, i hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then feel free to uh, send us the comment on this video i'll surely answer your questions okay so let's meet in the next video and if you still have any question or if you want to see something else then also you can comment on this video so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you